Yo, what's happening guys? It's Dam Studio here with a super cool tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom metal text or font from scratch. So that's literally designing this and drawing this from scratch. And this could apply to many different types of fonts. Um, but for today, we're going to use this example of A Great Chaos, which is Ken Carson's latest project. Um, I think his branding and aesthetic is super dope. So I thought this would be a good example for today. Let's start off by just creating our document. So I'm just gonna do a 20 inch by 20 inch document. I always make sure resolution's at 300, 8 bit, and then I use this color profile and uh, pixel aspect ratio settings, and then just create. So I've got our reference here. Essentially, what I do for all of my custom metal texts and fonts is I draw over a basic font and I kind of warp the font in the way that I want my uh, text to come out. So for example, I'm just gonna type in a great chaos, and then I'm gonna resize this to the size like that I want the font to be. It doesn't really matter that much. So we see our red reference text is really close together. So I'm just gonna highlight our text layer over top. I'm gonna rasterize it. Then I'm gonna go over to our uh, polygon lasso tool and I'm just gonna start cutting out these words by uh, copying, deleting, and then pasting. And then I'm just gonna drag them closer into each other just so it's easier to draw a reference. I'm gonna do the same with the A here. Cut that out from the grate and then drag that over, boom. Then I'm gonna merge these layers together so it's all one again. And then just so it gets close enough to the reference, I'm just gonna kind of stretch it, kind of like how it is and make it a bit bigger. And then I'm gonna hide our red reference layer. And now what I do to actually start drawing this out is I'm gonna create a new layer on top of our text. And then on this new layer, I'm gonna select our brush tool here. I'm gonna select hard round brush. And then I'm gonna have the opacity and the flow at 100%. And then on our reference, I'm gonna turn down the opacity a bit just so it's not too distracting. And then what I do on our new drawing layer is I just zoom in and I just simply draw over top and I just add little flares where I want them to be and I just kind of make it my own but this gives me a really good reference for how to draw it because it can be really hard to conceptualize in our head how to draw out letters from scratch so I like to use this as like a good reference and essentially I just go through and I draw out each letter Okay, so now I've got my text pretty much where I want it, honestly. Yeah, I basically just drew this up super quick, but it's looking pretty cool. And I've added like little bits of connections and little flares off of the text. So what I'm gonna do next is make sure I'm selecting this layer. I'm gonna go over to our paint bucket tool. And then I'm just gonna have white selected here. And then I'm just gonna go in and fill in all these letters with white there. We can see that this got filled in there. Uh, the reason that happened is if you don't have all points of your text connected, it's gonna bleed in through. So make sure that all of your lines are connected and then it'll fill in the letters themselves. And then from here, uh, we've got a nice white going. Let's look at our reference text again and let's just drag it up top. So they have a nice red going here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down to our layer styles here and I'm gonna select color overlay. And then we can just choose our own color or we can just like select the reference color. Uh, I'm just gonna click okay. We've got a nice red going there. And we can see that they got like this kind of white drop shadow going on which kind of adds like a really cool look to the letters so what we'll do is we'll just go back into our layer styles we'll go into drop shadow and then we're going to select white for our drop shadow and then we can select like the angle that we want the drop shadow to occur at and i'm just gonna increase the distance of the drop shadow from the letters um, play with the angle I guess our reference kind of has it, it looks like kind of like around, it's kind of off to the right a little bit there. But yeah, essentially that's how you create custom text from scratch. I'm gonna probably do some more videos on the future just with different styles of metal text. Cause you know, those, those metal texts that are extremely symmetrical, they just like are a lot more like intricate. So I'll definitely do one of those, but I thought this would be a good introduction. Maybe it'd open up some like pathways in your brain for how to even think about drawing your own text and where to start because a lot of times starting is the hardest part. But if you liked today's video, please drop a like, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting a lot more on this channel. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.